Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. I know this is late, it's because I kind of forgot they were going to do a fantasy league. They do it every tournament, but I, I, I completely forgot about it. But there's an official Euro 2020 fantasy league. Uh, you can download the app or just go on the website, but it's the official UEFA website. There's a predict, I did a predictor on there, like one of the predictors. They also got their own like predictor thing where you can t tip the scores. I should have done that instead of Superbrew, but I, I already started Superbrew, so we're not doing that one. But I am doing fantasy league. I should be good at this, considering when I do uh, short-term tournament football, I tend to do quite well at fantasy. But then I probably jinx myself. But this is a team that I picked, so I feel like Denier should be playing. Because he does starts for Belgium. And he'll probably, you know, he got an assist in a friendly. That doesn't really say much, it's only a friendly, but still, you know, pre-tournament friendly. Uh, competitive to an extent. Um, I feel like he should play but he'll play and he's pretty good Torres is good Ruben Diaz I'm not going to drop um, and they got hungry as well so you know I might take Diaz out because in the second game because uh, he's got France and Germany but in the first game pretty damn solid I think I should bring okay I'll take Kier out even though Kier will play uh, yeah I put Denier in they both got decent games all my defense has got decent games. <laughs> uh, Marlon, I I'm not sure will play, but I've got him because you know I did my whole team. I had six million left for a striker, and he was the best available for six million. That's why I got him. That's pretty much the rest of my team actually picked like what I wanted. Um, got Posh. I literally just picked him because his name sounds funny. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know to be honest. He probably he probably won't play, but I, I put him there. Um, Hadreki, um, I know. I knew about. I've known about him for years. I know he's quite a good keeper. So uh, the fact he was four million as a backup, that's a pretty damn good deal. Donnarumma is a fantastic goalkeeper. It's crazy how young he is as well. He's so young, but he's so damn good. And he's playing for Italy, of course. And they're at home in their first uh, first game. It's playing. It's being played in Rome. So. Uh, I do back on a rumor to have a good game. Although Turkey got as a dark horse for the tournament, so it might backfire. But I also have Italy doing well in the tournament. I do think they'll do a lot better than they have been in in recent years in tournaments. But yeah, Donnarumma I think could be key for them because he's a fantastic goalkeeper. So uh, he could potentially have a great tournament. Um, I just put Denier in, of course. I think he will play uh, Torres. I think he's not even that expensive. So you know, and and he starts. So. Um, that's a good buy, I think. Ruben Diaz for the first game, I think this will work. But I don't know about the second and third games. They got France and Germany, so we shall see. But for now, I think I'll keep him. I don't know if I'll sub anyone out now because obviously it's like 24 hours before the tournament. I'm putting this up on the same day as the tournament starts. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, my midfield, as you can see, I mean, you've seen the team already. But um, I've got Bruno Fernandes. I mean, after the way he's been playing for Man United, how can you against him and he also scored twice and assisted against Israel in a friendly a few days ago or was it yesterday well recently they won 4-0 he got two goals and assist I think he'll be up for this tournament for sure so uh, he was a must-have for me I got Phil Foden uh, because why not I predict him to have a quite quite a good tournament I think he'll be quite a key player for us he's clearly very talented uh, he's, he's, he's elite so I think uh, he'll come up with the goods hopefully Hopefully, uh, hopefully he can come with the goods against Croatia. I got Pogba. Uh, I initially picked Kante. He was actually cheaper, but um, in fantasy league, you don't really get points for tackles or ball recoveries. Kante is great. He's a fantastic player, but fantasy points are mainly about goals, assists, clean sheets. I feel like Pogba will get more points in that aspect. Apart from the clean sheets parts, but y y you get the point. I think Pogba's probably the better option. He plays well for France. Um, at the World Cup two years ago, he was fantastic, as was Kante, in fairness. But um, I think, like considering how points work in fantasy, I feel like Pogba will get more points than Kante. That's why I picked Pogba over Kante. It does uh, lose me 2.5 million, but it is what it is. Got Kimmich, I think I think he'll have a good tournament. Um, at least I hope he will. We've got France first, so that's a big first game. But um, yeah, I picked him. Elite player, David Alaba. He's my guy. So I thought, yeah, he's he's got a good team beside him, and he's playing. He's got a good first game. So uh, hopefully we get some points there. Uh, he's also does he take penalties for them? 
I think he does, doesn't he? Hopefully they get a penalty. And up front, I got Harry Kane and Lukaku. I was going to pick Cristiano, but um, Lukaku for Belgium is, you know, it's guaranteed goals there. He always scores for Belgium. Tournaments or friendlies, he scores a lot of goals for them. So I'm counting on him to score a lot of goals. Um, and I think against Russia, he could score his first uh, one or two. We'll see. But Russia are a good team, though, so we'll see about that. And I picked Harry Kane because, you know, I, I think he'll do well. Um, he scored quite a few goals in the, in the, in the World Cup. A couple of years back, or well, three years back now, actually, it's weird to say that. But um, yeah, I, 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 I think he'll have a good tournament, and um, hopefully he gets a few goals. That'd be great for my uh, for my team, but mainly because I want England to win. So yeah, I got two England players in there, uh, a couple of Portuguese players. I expect uh, I'm expecting uh, quite a bit from my midfield, considering I put all my money into it. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. Let me know if there's any transfers you think I should make. Um, these are like, like they do percentages in terms of like who's most uh, popular in terms of who's being picked. That's not how I pick my team. But yeah, I picked, the lowest I picked was 13%. Um, I was going to pick Robertson actually, but then I chose not to because I'm not sure about Scotland <laughs> doing well, but we'll see. Um, I picked the two most popular goalkeepers. Uh, coincidence? Might I add, coincidence, but uh, you know, money wise, that's pretty good budgeting. Um, yeah, I picked quite a lot of uh, <laughs> popular defenders. Uh, well, wait, sorry, I didn't take out GK. There we go. I picked four of the most popular defenders for the, for the top six, uh, and then midfielders here, Pogba's in six percent, interestingly enough. I was going to pick Grealish, but I'm not 100% sure he'll start every game. Although he should. He should be starting. And uh, forwards, the two most popular ones. Again, no coincidence. Uh, if I had more money, I might have picked Mbappe. I could have more money if I switch on with someone out here, but... We'll see. We'll see. Although I do think Mbappe will have a good tournament. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, I'll stick with what I got. Uh, hopefully... Uh, Harry Kane and Lukaku performed that way. I don't regret my decisions. So, uh, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff. Also, actually, wait, league, league. You can join my league here. This is my code. And where, where's, where's the link? The link will be in description. The link will be, yeah, this link will be in description. So you, you can uh, be sure to join through there. And the league code is right there. So, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.